every single piece of paper and card you put in your recycling takes just two weeks to be turned into a new paper product. Clever, eh? The three main types of paper and card you can put in your recycling are newspapers, magazines and letters, the paper packaging you get for food, microwave dinner sleeves, that sort of thing, and cardboard, delivery boxes, etc. But please do not put in things like takeaway boxes, which are covered in food, oil and grease. They go in your general waste. Otherwise, they will contaminate the recycling process. After the council collect your paper and card, it arrives at a depot where the recycling process begins. Six million tonnes of paper are recycled every year, with councils dropping off thousands of tonnes of paper and card to depots like this one across the country each week. And it's here you can see the paper separation process begin. The teams start by removing anything that contaminates the recycling by hand. And as you can see, they have to have their wits about them as it all whooshes past on the conveyor belt. The teams sometimes have to deal with dangerous items that they find mixed in with the recycling, and this can put them directly at risk. Vapes and batteries can cause fires, so please, don't let any of that get mixed up in your recycling. So. When you're doing your recycling at home, always keep your paper and card separate from the rest wherever possible. This is the best way to recycle. Food and garden waste rots the paper and things like tin cans, glass and plastics get recycled differently too. So check you're adding the right items to the right bin as you recycle. The paper and card have now been separated and compressed into giant bales ready to be transported to the mill. Here the bales travel to a pulper where the paper and card are mixed with water. It's a bit like a huge food blender breaking down the paper and card to create pulp. Two truckloads of paper are processed here every hour. When the paper mixture comes out of the pulper, it's sprayed onto giant sheets of fabric and put through a huge press squeezing out all the water and leaving the sheets exactly the right thickness or weight required to make either card or paper. The paper is then wound into enormous reels, each weighing 35 tonnes, the equivalent of six adult elephants. The reels of recycled paper are stored in a warehouse, ready to be taken across the UK to become corrugated cardboard and other paper-based products. Cardboard, newspapers, magazines, and of course, paper packaging can all be recycled again and again. But please, only put the correct items in your collection bin. Anything else you add can contaminate the recycling. 